Welcome back. Theory of equations. Solving polynomial equations. Here's the question. Find the real root of the polynomial equation modulus x to the power 4 over 5 plus 6 times modulus x to the power 2 over 5 minus 40 equal to 0. There's a hint given. Hint to solve a polynomial equation of the form a0 times fx to the power 2n plus a1 times fx to the power n plus a2 equal to 0, we can substitute fx to the power n equal to y and then solve for a0 times y squared plus a1 times y plus a2 equal to 0 to obtain the roots. What we got here is a quadratic equation. So once you substitute for fx to the power n with the value y, then we get a quadratic equation. So I think we can see the similarity here. Let's see what's the similarity in the next page. So what is given here is this x modulus to power 4 5 plus 6 times modulus x to power 2 or 5 minus 40 equal to 0. And the hint is this one. So if you look at this one and this one here, uh, a0 is 1 here, fx is x to the power 4 over 5. So if you take n equal to 2 over 5, n equal to 2 over 5, so we can see the similarity here. So that means we can substitute for modulus x to the power 2 over 5 with y. So if you substitute for x to the modulus x to the power 2 over 5 with a y, here we get y squared and plus 6y minus 40 equal to 0. This is basically a quadratic equation. So now we need to find the roots of this quadratic equation. So we need to find the factors. And here 40 can be 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 4 times 10, 5 times 8. So what we need to make sure that we are getting the middle term when you multiply those two factors. So basically I think we can select 4 times 10. If we take 4 times 10, we get 10 minus 4 is 6. So that means our factors here are y minus 4 times y plus 10. So 4 times 10 is 40, negative 40. So you put a negative term here because we need positive 6 y in the middle. So y times 10, 10 y minus 4 y will give plus 6 y. Now we need to find the roots of this equation. y can be 4 or y can be negative 10. Okay, let's go further. Now what we got from this one is y can be either 4 or it can be negative 10. But we have uh, used y equal to modulus x to the power 2 or 5, which is basically a positive number for any values of x. When it's x equals 0, equals 0, but otherwise it is a positive number. That means x modulus x to the power 2 or 5 always greater than or equal to 0 for all x. So we can take Therefore, we can take only y equal to 4 as the solution to find the real roots. So that means 4 equal to modulus x to the power 2 of 5. That means 4 times 5 by 2. So this power can be inversed and then bring it to the other side. That means 4 times 4 to the power 5 over 2 equal to modulus x. Now what we can do is we can substitute for 4 here. 4 is equal to 2 to the power 2 times 5 by 2. So that means 2 to the power 5 is equal to 32, which is the value of the modulus, what, modulus value of x. So basically we can write the roots of this equation means uh, x is equal to plus or minus 32 because it's a modulus. So if you remove the modulus, it can be either positive, it can be negative also. So it's uh, x equal to plus or minus 32 are the real roots of the given polynomial equation. That's the answer to this question. Hope you understood. Thank you.